made there, but we're good now. We we're just talking about Apocalypse mm-hmm. World. An anime. What's up, girl? Mm-hmm. Anime. Oh yeah. Can we do an anime Apocalypse World? Is that a human? Is that we human can play made RPG? No, fuck that. No. <laughs> No, I mean like yeah. an anime version of Apocalypse World. I'll tell yeah. you what, we could play Ryutama, uh, which is actually pretty cool. What is Ryutama? Um, I will give you a link to it rather okay. than explain it. Anime. It's All actually right. really easy to learn. Uh, the part I like about it most is probably that GMs get a character that gets to do stuff. Mm. That's cool. I run all my make Dungeon the World show, in anime. Make make the entire show about your GM character. No, so. Uh, I'll give a short description. Ryutama is about dragons that run the world, and there's four seasonal dragons, and then there's a numerous other dragons that have to feed those dragons books. Those dragons survive by eating stories. And so the lesser dragons gather groups of adventurers in secret and then send those adventurers on trips and then do things to, like, nudge it. They can't directly intervene, but they can be like, Oh, look at this old man. I'm going to possess him and have him come along the road and be like, Well, did you know that down that way there's a dog in a well? And they're like, Oh, yes, an adventure to get a dog out of a well. Sweet. And then he's like, Yes, now I'm going to write about it. Now I'm not going to possess this old man anymore. It's like quest givers with a reason to give. Yeah. <laughs> so it's literally, it's literally a fucking tabletop version of Majesty. Uh, I don't know, but it's it's anime based. It's at, it's super fucking cool. I thought, uh, and your GM character levels up as the players level up. So have there's... you ever played Majesty? No. Should... Your channel specifically would probably really enjoy Majesty. I'll have to look into it. You should do that. Does Majesty involve people dying often? Because that seems yes. to be what my so basically like. Majesty is a game where you don't directly control people, but you send them out on adventures, and you so control. So it's like Lemmings. So you control a town, right? And you fill the town with goods and services that will then bring people in, and then you set quests within the town that NPCs come in and do. Oh, so it's literally like, like Reseteer. Yeah, except you're game. except you're like basically <laughs> making up like. You know the economy for your town. It's really cool. Like it's super cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Majesty, it's a really think, good game. Yeah. There, there's a number two. I think. I think I've played mm-hmm. that one. Yeah. Start with number two because it is uh, a lot more modern. Absolutely. All right. So let's get back into the action. Did anyone have any more day moves they wanted? There to was make? a reach I out. I know. Going, right? Zerkova was about to make a move that I jumped in and interrupted, so I would have time to get a sweet drink. Hmm. By the way, tonight's show is sponsored by the Del Marva Peninsula for providing sweet water to over several million U.S. residents. God, you're such a fucking sellout, Arthur. I know. <laughs> I'm actually working on getting my first serious sellout. I'm going to have. I'm looking into an affiliate program with Drive Through RPG, so that when you buy stuff that I feature on my show and say buy it, I get store credit. It's cool. Mm. Always nice you know, good stuff. We should talk afterwards. I'll, I'll help you out. I'll help you out. <laughs> so basically, what I what I'm trying to do is, uh, in character, I want what I want to have happen without trying to sort of force it down Tatiana's throat is let Vlad, Vlad let let her know that Vladia is new and could probably be. Suited you're gonna the... reveal this. Oh, you're not gonna. <gasps> this I no, thought man. you were gonna be like Vladia is a coward. No, you. No, had... that wasn't no, what you were going just... for, though. No, 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 no. Just that uh, it's better to ease people into things. Maybe let her be in the uh, <clears throat> back plane, well protected, and uh, um, be best are we for doing... everybody. Are we doing anything with the whole thing that you're dele- that you've got work delegated to that you need to do? Is I think, that, uh, is not that... today, apparently, because we had uh, the lightning storm made us not have to do any work. I well, think, what I'm I what I'm said. saying is like, um, do you have less things, less chances to do before you take harm because you've been delegated work? Did you ever decide that, Arthur? Mm-hmm. So I think today you our... don't because today they're putting everything towards. Getting the planes back. Yep. Alright. Cool. Wow, that was super loud. Sorry. No, no, not, not you. I was actually 
So you were like going when you were like, I'm going to reveal that she's a coward, but didn't do that because that's not what you were saying. I had actually started playing my EP gaming theme, sad piano music. And I just left it play because I was like, okay, this is sounding dramatic. And then it got super loud and I was like, no, but I stopped it. Sorry. I, d I didn't hear the sad music. That's because I'm Sorry. playing it locally. I have to upload it to SoundCloud at some point. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. Really? So where were so, we? What significant so truth are you revealing? That uh, <clears throat> that I don't want to see any more young air women die. Okay. Let's have that conversation then. Basically, that uh, we we should that I believe that we should you know ease the newcomer. I mean, look at how young she is into this whole thing. If we can, I think it would be a good idea to keep her at the back for a few flights. And, I mean, remember, remember when 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 we started off. It's it's not easy. It's if we if we don't let her get any experience from from us, she she may wind up like, you know, the flashback to all the nameless women who. You don't remember, like Osinka Payavokova? Like mm -hmm. the very and first women that we killed yeah. in the first flat that we had. Yeah. <laughs> Training flats where everyone dies. It's like, yep. <laughs> yep. Oops. Let her get some experience by not dying. That's the plan. And, uh. Should probably put her in trusty number 11 <laughs> with veteran <laughs> pilot Sonia. She has most most likely a higher chance of living with me than anyone else in the entire flat. Just oh, yeah. putting it out times. there. Don't know how I many can times literally, Don't I can literally save tour. anyone. And like, literally anyone. I'm the know, perfect person to fly with. And mechanically, I want plus one remission pool for this. <laughs> okay, well. well I, did you roll a four? Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. yeah, I did. Well, I'll tell you what mechanically you actually get. <laughs> um, Bupkis. <laughs> so I got I to gotta ask you to work with me, of course, Tatiana, because uh, in okay. what way do you feel that that effort was ineffective, misunderstood, or understood all too well? My first immediate response would be, Vladia is obviously a coward or something like that. Like, that's the subtext of what's being said. Maybe that's what flashes to your mind. Okay. I um, but that doesn't have to be. Ways. Don't don't feel you need to take that suggestion. If you have some other way that you feel it's ineffective, misunderstood, or no, I think actually well. I can work with that because I was thinking like that kind of feeds into something else I was thinking about doing. Oh, of course. Something can I, can I also make wise. a suggestion? Here? What's that? Can I make a suggestion? Sure. That um, Ileana is very terrible at getting her point across in any way, shape, or form. So what she actually wants is not what you're going to give her. Because it sounds like that she's like, oh, she wants to be put in the back. Navigator in your plane. Got it. Let's go. <laughs> Wait. Uh, in the back. like of the In the back. Like, literally oh, yeah, in the back yeah, seat yeah, yeah. of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> What is uh? I I don't think I ever figured this out. What is Ruben's skill set at the moment? Like it's you, just a plus one skill. Plus one skill and nothing else. Okay, yeah. you are actually probably the second best navigator in the squadron then, <laughs> theoretically. Um, uh, I think Sonia has a plus one skill. Does Sonia? Yeah. I have plus two. Oh no, she has plus zero. She put it in the guts. That's right. I remember. Yeah, uh, that's what I thought. And I should be the best navigator. I, uh, wait, I, no, Tatiana. I That's thought Ileana has three luck and zero skill. Two skill now after rank ups. Oh, okay. Good to know. Okay. Um, I kind of feel like the substance of that conversation meant that you're worried about her resolve, and I will take that as an opportunity to have a conversation with her. Um, that that is the subtext of it. You're you're you're, yeah. You're you're warning me about her, not trying to protect her. Yeah, I suck at wording things, apparently. Yep. Okay. So, um, at this, I will be sure to have a conversation with uh, uh, with Ruben 
uh, before the mission goes off tonight. Um, God, every time fact, you say that, I think of Corbin Dallas from The Fifth Element. I don't know why. <laughs> Vladia. All right, I'll start calling her Vladia. Vladia, uh, I call. I, I actually send someone to go fetch Vladia. In fact, I actually tell Ileana to go fetch Vladia for me to have a conversation in my office. Oh, She's sitting in the you. back playing with the dolls. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank, thank you very, very much. And of course, I think I got through perfectly. Obviously. <gasps> Excellent news. Ah. Ah. Vladia, I, I, I've talked to talk ta- Tatiana. I'm very certain she understands. Wait, you, and you, told, a, the, you told the captain? Uh, don't worry. Yep, I, so I, proud I've of been, myself. <laughs> I, I've been with, we've, we've been together so many years. I mean, I'm sure. Sh- I I talked to her about uh, ma- making sure everything would go smoothly. I can't believe you you went straight to her and told her how I felt. You you've got you can't do this to me. You oh I I what? feel so terrible. I think I'm going to throw up. Oh the captain. No 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 no. Don't uh, don't, don't 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 worry. She she's really a nice person. She wants to you, help everybody. You can't do this to me. You must go back. Tell tell her you you misunderstood what I was saying. Go go make sure she knows that this is not the case that I am worthy of being an air pilot you you must go do this uh, and I'm but, acting but, up to f- but, I want um, to she wants to talk back. to you right, right she wants to talk to you right now well so um, you can act up but you are also disobeying an order from a commanding officer and boats <laughs> so, uh yeah but she told me exactly why yeah um I can tell you that sending Ileana back to Tatiana to yeah, explain okay. why you didn't come is not going to go well. <laughs> yeah, okay, and I'd probably understand that fine from training. So I'd be like, I'd, that I'd force what I want to force her to do then is to come back with me um, so, that, um, so that we can explain together that there was a misunderstanding. Oh, okay. Well, uh, be like, you must come with me. I can't go face her alone. Like, I'm terrified. Oh, don't worry. I, I, sh- I can come with you. It's it's no big big deal. She she looks really scary, but she's she's a really good person inside. <laughs> really, really <laughs> deep inside. Yeah. I've known, I've known her for, like for many all years. The way down. <laughs> <laughs> um, she she has nothing but the best best in best at heart for all of us. You you, you need no worries. Um, I will come with you. Yeah. Okay. So and and uh, I'm just like. Yes, yes, we please come with me, please. I can't go alone. Uh and like we go off and I'm like, you know, mousing my way like slowly towards uh the the building where she's you know, uh where's Petrovna has it like would be in like a captain's office by now. Right? I assume I have an office somewhere yeah. or someplace private at the very least we can speak. Uh so I like get to the front door of the a tent, office. right? You literally have a tent. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah sure. I get to her tent and I just kind of like stand there in front of the tent. Uh, what is your intent? My intent is to not be intent. <laughs> <laughs> and and I clever, go in and, and I go in and I say, I, I've uh, I've gotten Vladia for you. Uh, yeah. And I like follow in. I'd wait for you to open the door and then like come in. I gotta say, you're not helping the case that you don't have the resolve necessary for uh, <laughs> <laughs> these visions. You're literally hiding outside. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so as you enter, like I assume you enter after like an uncomfortable delay, um, Tatiana's probably a little annoyed. Um, so, and Ileana is smiling. Everything will be fine. And I'm like, uh, Ileana, she she said she mentioned that I was not feeling uh, adequate for for the the services of a uh, of an air woman. But I assure you, this is not true. I have. I was merely feeling ill to my stomach from from eating too much milk chocolate. Uh, you see, uh, in training we had very little, and the huge crates you guys have. I, I, the only thing is, I just had too much chocolate to eat. Uh, I will be f- be fine. Please don't ground me. I, I need to fly on the mission. Don't, don't get me in any trouble, please. Please, mom, don't ground me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the term, though, right? Yes. <laughs> it's, it's okay. But I immediately flashed to like talking to a slightly older yeah. woman. I was a week ago. I was probably asking my mom not to ground me, like 
at home. Because you ate too much milk chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Isian, thank you for bringing uh, to Vladia to me. You're dismissed. Um, oh, shit. You're, oh, you're shit. sure you don't want me? I desperately I, require your services on the mission tonight. You should go prepare. I will have a word alone oh. with Vladia. You're dismissed. Yes, sir. And I leave. So um, Ilya, uh, Tatiana gets up um, from behind her desk and um, leans back on it as, uh, as you're standing there. She motions to a chair and says, have a seat. Um, and I sit down and I'm like on the edge of the seat and like my body's all like tightened up. Uh, and uh, she, she kind of furrows her brow and Rubs her temples just a little bit. Like ugh, planes are so much easier. Uh, uh, you know, the worst thing about this job is having to solve everyone else's problems. I tell you what, like this, the shit that this squadron gets itself into, and I have to dig them out of it. My God, the Ileana is ah uh, always. She, you know, she's crashed two planes and feels terrible about it and now i need to make sure she doesn't just jump off the top of a building and now we have uh freaking sonia who's in love with a man who is probably gay and is cheating on everyone and is probably going to force her to make a critical error killing everyone and like she just goes on and on and on and on and on and uh, wow. she looks at where you is the, where is the yeah, documentation I do, like, I do like thirty expression changes through this of yeah. like it's like amazed, shocked, like intrigue, uh, the full Ta- game. So this is this is this is a moment of vulnerability for Tatiana. Like she's so tired of dealing with everyone else's bullshit, and she just starts ranting um, at uh, at at Vadia. And she turns to her at the very end, and uh, and uh, she says, uh, she uh, as as a point, she tries to emphasize Sonia's infatuation with this uh, Captain Galunov, and the ridiculous proposal that he made, and how it's probably going to end up getting everyone in the squadron killed. Oh um, and at the end of it, uh, <laughs> she uh, she she turns to Vladia and she says, "I understand that you are nervous about your role here, and many of the decisions you make will have." Very potentially very serious consequences. People may die on your watch. This cannot be avoided. But while you are under my command, as long as you do everything within your power to protect the lives of those around you, then you and I will be fine. And she dismisses her. Okay, and I, I say, uh, thank you. Out of you curiosity, t- would that count as a reach out, Archer? Or Archer? Arthur? Did you, yeah, Archer. you did real, reveal. Some significant new truths, yeah. right? And, and yeah. I almost think I should roll an act up too. But... Uh, some, more like all. <laughs> In what way were you acting up? What What uh, is it you want her to do? Oh well, uh, I I just want I wanted her to uh, believe that I was a uh, like a worthy okay air woman and that I wasn't afraid. Let's resolve that first. Okay. okay. Um. So that would be like a fooligan, maybe. I don't know. It sounds, it sounds more like, like you're acting like a natural born Soviet air woman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Either way, it's possible. You're so like, I'm competent, damn it. <laughs> that's what I heard. If yeah, you feel differently, let me know. But No, no, no. That works for me. Oh, six. Fail. <laughs> and so this failure actually inspires Tatiana's rant. Um, Probably, yeah. <laughs> um,. um Tired of dealing with all this shit and, and it, it basically being like, asked to solve everyone else's problems. And the, yeah, knows. I'm just another. It feels. It probably feels like you know. Oh great! Like so this is probably actually a rare bonding moment for you and your your commanding officer because you don't normally get this level of honesty. Uh, from CO. you yeah. probably won't get it again. And I was so. gonna say when you when you dismiss me and I like I like turn, but then I turn back and I like reach in my pocket maybe and pull out like a little square. <laughs> <laughs> like, when I am feeling overwhelmed, I sometimes eat some milk chocolate and just put it on your desk and then leave. Van Nam flashbacks for Tatiana. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is gonna be the reach out uh, okay. for that, uh, and she completely oh, misunderstands cool. me. Uh, so in what way is this ineffective? Misunderstood or understood all too well? Maybe it's understood all too well. Maybe it's that you understand that uh, Tatiana has, like, little or no respect for the people in her squadron and uses them like tools. 
<laughs> right? Yeah, and she said, I think, uh, you know, she said out loud, planes are so much easier. And yeah. I think, I really think that she is tired of people that she has to fix, like a broken plane. God, 2D uh, is so much easier. Am I right, guys? Yeah. Uh, so this is going to be interesting. Um, so because here I are some to... of those fail triggers. Because <laughs> <laughs> I get to do moves. I'm, yep. I'm throwing it in the... Uh, in what the chat it? there. Hey, all, what is that picture? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what are all these men pictures you're dropping in? <laughs> so while you guys are doing stuff, um, <laughs> these men wander onto the base wearing like German oh, army uniforms. <laughs> wow. With like the SS bands like inverted, so they're on like the wrong arm and they're upside down, and they're dressed in these really sexy uniforms that are very <laughs> flattering. You know, like, it emphasizes their crotch, and <clears throat> maybe the shirt's open in the front and they're letting their muscles out, and they just look like very handsome men. And they seem to be disrupting all of the regimental armorers who are working on the the planes. Like, even Sergeant Katieva's like, yeah. That is one hell of a man over there. You see that Justin Bieber like hair like an angel? Is it Sergeant Katieva or Captain Katieva? Sergeant Katieva. <laughs> okay. I like I like how Arthur's like, yeah, these are some of the triggers that are happening right now. <laughs> and then we open it up, it's literally just fucking men. And we're like just, <laughs> just hot dudes. <laughs> Thanks, Arthur. Uh, no problem. Okay. <clears throat> so these dudes are basically disrupting your regiment and they're like Hey, we just came over. We've got some intel. Oh, sorry, they're German, so like, oh yeah, we just came over. We had some intel on the village of Tarman. I was there at a party last night. There are some very beautiful Russian ladies there, just like you, ladies. He's like, yeah. I'm told that soon your squadron might be striking at that location, and so all I want to do is make sure this intel gets to the right place, just like me. And everyone's like, ah, oh, they're so handsome. And the other one's like just standing, looking really cool in the wind, leaning against an aircraft, not saying anything. And all the women who are not Justin Bieber looking dude are like, that dude right there, he's so fucking hardcore. Your whole regiment's been turned upside down by these two men. Fantastic. What do you guys want to do? Uh, uh, Tatiana's probably going to point them to Captain Krushinata. They're the ones who deal with uh, intelligence of value to the... Uh, to their the internal Renan. security, friend. I know they are. That's why she's sending them to him. <laughs> 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 but so, in truth, like, if, if, if these guys were fraudulent, then... Justin Bieber it, guy, like, whips out a comb and starts brushing his hair, and he's like, <laughs> actually, I'm not looking for... Captain Kushinada. I was told I'm looking for the most beautiful woman on this airbase. Captain Tatiana Petrovna. Could you point me in her direction? Swish! Hair gel! <laughs> yes, I am Captain Petrovna. It's like, oh! Yeah, what they said is true. You are very good looking, yeah? Why do you have the swagger dance? On? He's dancing. <laughs> like, so he true. does. He's got swagger. He's like frown like ladies. Looking good. Yeah. My, -la -la. <laughs> my ding ding dong. <laughs> That's what I'm imagining. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah. I think that my friend told me about your squadron. You are dropping bombs on some rail cars upside down. Yeah. You ladies are hardcore. I'm into that. <laughs> Mr. Bond. <laughs> Do you have a few moments that we can uh, speak somewhere privately so I can give you this private intel, I mean? <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> who's my highest ranking officer, or who's my highest ranking person below me? Um, me. <laughs> Is it? Uh, yeah, so is it Sonia. Yeah, yeah. Is Sonia is a lieutenant. Oh, I'm Ileana. A... Ileana, lieutenant. Oh, Ileana. Zerkova, Zerkova. Yeah. So yeah. I would love to take your private information. However, I'm afraid I have very much information, uh, very much to do. Um, 
My second in command will take your details and shoves Ileana in front of him. <laughs> and like as we're doing that, he's like, "Don't you want to give me your phone number, lady?" If I had a phone number that worked, I'm sure he would give it to you. He's but like, I can not. I write you? I cannot stop you. <laughs> Maybe sometime you come down to Timon and we have the party. I'm sure when we come through, it will be quite a blast. <laughs> the bombing jokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think Zerkova, he immediately slaps you on the ass and is like, So, you want to go somewhere private and share stuff? Like bodily fluids? <laughs> this? It's what not that mean? explicit. <laughs> uh, no, 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 sir. I, 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 I Ileana, think, uh, you have been given a direct captain. order by your supervising officer. Have Go sex take with this man, <laughs> both of them, at the same time. <laughs> get him out of my hair. <laughs> you told me to get them to the to the. Uh... No, uh, I said to I, to to take down the the private information. Yes, go yes. Um, investigate their uh, private parts. <laughs> uh, information. Um, <laughs> um, sorry, maybe we can sit down outside and uh, and I can write down. Yes. <laughs> the chat says you guys don't have enough experience in trying to gently dissuade men's interests. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, he looks you over, and you're, like, talking about going there and sit down side. He's like, maybe you should talk to my friend, Rock. He's more the quiet, sensitive type. He's like, hey, Rock, this little lady right here wants to sit down at the table and talk. And he's like... Mm. Seven meters of muscle comes over, and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> Seven meters. Ileana, they're standing at fi uh, just over five feet tall, age 16, is like... That one is scary. Apart from the fact that this is a pretty obvious ploy to, like, like someone sent these guys. Like, this is, <laughs> like... <laughs> uh, uh, um, I'm the first, it. Justin Bieber hair starts going to all the regimental armorer chicks, and instead of having them load the bombs, he's like, let me tell you about all the Germans I've killed. Uh, yeah. All right, this situation requires an eyeball now. You feel like that? Yeah. Um. Use up one more action to eyeball. <laughs> uh, so I get one question. You do. Um, I guess the most obvious one is what am I overlooking here? Mm. Their private mm. packages, obviously. <laughs> you overlooked how hot their packages were. That's a good question. I think that was overlooked. Here? Oh, uh, <laughs> you're, what you're overlooking is that if you don't get your people back to work, your planes aren't going to fly tonight. I mean, they'll be repaired, but they literally won't have anything strapped to them. Okay. These guys have seriously disrupted the flow of your regiment. Yeah, I'm probably distracted wait, by wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. I thought Ileana was off taking care of these guys. Taking care of uh, one I, of them. Oh, I, no, 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 no. I, I said... Uh, I. Oh, okay. So yes, literally I'm one guy went. control of the situation. <laughs> literally <laughs> one guy went. So they... Is, the other one walked off please, to go bother everyone, I guess. Please, please. Uh, there, were, uh, there were two or three person, of them. Person, person, Justin Bieber here. Come back here. He's I, like, <laughs> the name is Dumpkaf. 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 It's the sound it makes when my comb goes through my hair. Uh, could you come over here, uh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Mr. Dumpkaf? He's like, no, no, I got to meet all these ladies. <laughs> he still he dances dancing. over to the ladies, yeah. <laughs> but, but Mr. Dumpkaf, please. Okay, all right, we do business. Maybe you want a little two-on-one. -on -one. I'm not opposed to it. It's been a while. Yeah, all right. The rock's just Pirates. like... Oh, okay, That's that sounds good. Pl sit down, please. We, uh, you go to, okay, so you go to like a bench outside, and the two of them are talking to you. They're both on either side of you. They're doing that Japanese like, move where they like sort of lean in over the top of you sort of thing. <laughs> I you don't know, know they what that is. put their hands on the wall behind them or whatever. You seen that? No. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, it sounds really creepy, though. It, no, it's, it's just a fad that's literally going around Japan right now. It's literally men walk up to a girl who's leaning against a wall, and they put their arm like past the ear, and then sort of like lean up real close and get in their face and whisper in their ear and shit. I prefer so, the thug squat coming from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you seen it? They no, squat yeah, down to look the like they're squat. pooping. We've been over the thug squat. Yeah, yeah, the thug squat. I like the thug uh, squat. 
Okay. <laughs> As Felicia Day calls it, pooping position. Uh, um, so, um, <clears throat> let's see. Dumkov, and uh, what is your name? Rock. It Rook. means rock in German. Uh, yes, yes, I, I know a little bit of German. And out of character, do you yeah. know what Dumkov actually means? Nope. Dumbass. Sounds good. Yeah, it's him uh, perfectly, doesn't it? That's yeah. So, so Tatiana probably after these guys are out of the hangar would go find the regimental polytruck and inform them of their presence because Germans walking onto base, like literally, this seems off. At the very least, let's let's finish what Zerkova's doing and then okay. we'll cut over to that. Yep, sure. Uh, okay. I just uh, I'm not sure what Zerkova's doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I would like to being roll really on. really. <laughs> Yeah, stupid head. You should, yes. should roll on how how long it takes before they 100% seduce you. So roll the 1d100 and how Sorry, they can't change her emotional minutes. traits in this game. That's not a thing yet. <laughs> We're not playing Mistborn, although that game is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, okay. Uh, and Regiment? Uh, your, your, please, your Regiment? Where Doomkov you is like... We don't have a regiment, lady. We're partisans. I have a unit. Oh, well, let's see. Partisan unit. Okay. Yeah, sure, I, if I that's what you unit. want to think about. Yeah. Yes? I'm a big fancy officer. Can't you see my lieutenant bars? Mm, let's see. Okay, you lieutenant and Rock is what rank? Rock is not actually wearing any rank insignia at all. He's like... Rock? Rock is a master sergeant. Yeah. Rock master sergeant slash private. Rock okay. master sergeant sounds like a good MC name. <laughs> <laughs> RMS. Yeah, man. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, and the information you wanted to uh, deliver to us? Oh, yes. The village of Teman. Oh, it's so heavily guarded. But we know the airlines that you can come in on. If you come in, you know, behind the blue line, it'd be fine. You just got to fly over the ocean, no problem. You know, as long as you don't crash. And I suspect that you ladies don't crash at all, huh? Yeah? Uh, moving on. The only place uh, you should uh, be crashing line. is in uh, my bunk, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, we don't speak about crashing here. That brings bad luck. Trigger, trigger, uh, anyway. trigger for it. <laughs> They call me Crash Burn because I crash so much. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I'm Sandman. The cra Crash Burn was Sonia. <laughs> Sonia was Crash Burn. I've never had Crash Burn. <laughs> was she? She crashed one plane. <laughs> yeah, I crashed two and got Sandman because uh, spent all I your sleep, time sleeping in the hospital beds. Also because yeah. you're the you're the taker of lives. That's also a double entendre for you. Um, I suppose. Yes, but but never uh, never willingly. It's just I'm, I just accidentally I kill accident. a lot of people. <laughs> I, I have accidents. It's, they, so bad. what what is your end game here? What's the move you're making? I, oh, oh, I'm not. I'm trying to get these people to tell me what tell me what they. They want to tell me and then leave. I I want them to go away. Okay. I want them to so go I away think, really fast. Yeah, I think they've given you the information. To get them to leave, I think we should jump over now to Tatiana Petrovna. Yeah. I, I, Tatiana they're, is they're, going to find the regimental polytruck. They're, they're making me very, very uncomfortable in, 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 in a multitude of ways. Yeah, I bet. Uh, so Tatiana goes in and finds um, Captain Bereskova. Is that right? I don't, I don't have the sheet up. We're on Kuchinata. the wrong 20 page. Uh, Krishnada, yeah, Bar and, uh, is dead. and, and asks, uh, are you aware of the partisan Germans on the base who are offering intelligence in the next mission run? You know how I, people can you... flip pencils through their fingers really quickly and make it look awesome? Yeah. Krishnada is trying to do that and dropping the pencil constantly. <laughs> and she's like, uh, yes, yes, the partisans, yeah, they're supposed to interface with your unit or something. Make sure to get all the intel you can pump out of them. Isn't this your job? No, I'm state security. I'm supposed to be watching you to make sure that you're a good comrade. <laughs> you're in charge of intelligence for your own unit. This is a military operation. 
It's interesting that she's delegating this to the logistics officer, but okay, we'll go with this. Yeah, but you're also the squadron leader. Right. Well, Captain Krishnada, I just wanted to make sure that you are aware of their presence here on base. It seems they have caused quite a disturbance, you see. Uh, she I will ensure says, that they cause a disturbance, no you say? Uh, yes, this is one of the reasons why I came to see you. It's, uh, it What's was... the problem? Uh, the, 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 mm. that, that hotness is the uh, women. Hmm. And she, like, makes uncomfortable hand gestures down towards, like, the crotch region, and... She's like, like oh! And she blushes slightly and says, I think you should send them to my office. I believe that state security is going to be taking over this investigation. Ah, that is exactly what I believed you is, was the case. Yes, good. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so Tatiana exits the office. Who finds it too as, as you're closing the door, she says, purely professional, of course. Absolutely, yes. Uh, so she goes and finds the two German partisans and uh, informs them, that, uh, or asks them to follow her. The first uh, one is like, no! The, I'm doing have... exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Dumping out all the intel I can on the pretty ladies. <laughs> he kind of wraps his arm creepily around Zerkova. What you gonna do? <laughs> Zerkova, come going with to, me. Going to be even more nervous and try and get up. Uh, Captain, what he, am I he tries to, do? to hold you down with his other arm in a bro move. He's like, just, just stay seated. It's no problem. I still I have things to say to you, yeah? Oh, um, I, I guess I'm not finished taking You guys have seen this move. Come on. Yeah. You've uh, all been to frat parties. Yeah. You've seen this move. Well, no, I was... All right, I I'm think it's time sorry. for Sonya to make no. her entrance. Well, wait, sorry, we got, no we got a move pile up here. I feel like... I that feel happens. like Petrovna was about to make a move. Uh, yeah, so Petrovna is probably going to act up like a hooligan. Let's do it. Um, Tell me how. To go. I don't want to... So, uh, I guess this counts as my last action that I can do. Yeah, I guess it would. Tell me how. Tell me how. Uh, so, she says, Listen, you are here as guests of the Russian army. Act one bit out of line, and I will see you hanged by the end of the runway by nightfall. And you will be the uh, the the break stop of our planes as we ride to Germany. You will come with me right now, and you will divulge your information to Captain Kushinata, or I will see you dead. I'm pretty sure that's like a hooligan. Like I try to go for that. Yeah, like, sure. Nasty shit. Th okay. Nasty shit. Nice. Okay, what are you gonna do? Uh, make them do what I want, um, and ensure there are no consequences for my actions. Okay. So Rock like lifts his, lifts Dumkov's hands up off of Zerkova's shoulders, and kind of looks at Dumkov and nods. And Dumkov's like, "Okay, hot pants, don't get your panties in the bunch, yeah? Okay, we go to the uh, NKVD office. Maybe there's good-looking ladies there. I heard your whole regiment is good-looking ladies, yeah? She is most interested in making your acquaintance. I assure you." <laughs> He's like, wait, the way you said that, that did not sound good. And, and Rock is, like, dragging him along, and he's like, wait a second! No! No! Rock, stop it! Yeah. You like my German man that I just drew? The, the, the Bieber oh, drawing is great. Oh, my Super God. sexy. Super sexy. Oh, my lord. Oh... <laughs> You know what you need to do, though? I love just... how he has a comb in his hair. Can That's I... the best do you... part. Do you mind if I do just, like, a small edition? <laughs> I don't have one eye, by the way. Because <laughs> yeah, he's, he's looking away. Yeah, oh, side. that's cool. Okay, gotcha. See, he needs to have, like, <laughs> little, like, motion <laughs> things because he's, like, dancing and moving. Yeah, because he's always dancing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh boy! It's like okay. ladies, <laughs> did anyone? Sex the ladies. I'm here for you. <laughs> I had to bring all of my knowledge of being a douche <laughs> to the battlefield for this one. <laughs> Everything I've observed, both personally and through modern television. And then you see in the background, Sonya walks past, and everyone's like, "Gone," <gasps> and she's like, "What? A... 
What did I miss? <laughs> Were you rolling for something, Vladi? No, no. I, I just, I just saw like there's this weird. I've never seen it. There's like somehow I've closed up my whole character sheet into just one button that just says Sergeant Vladia Bedrov medals. <laughs> oh, double click on the top. I, I, I literally. That's like all I get. Just the button, like no other thing around. Yeah. It. So there should be. At at the top, just double click on it. It should expand back out. Yeah, I can't figure it out. I'm gonna try to go straight All back. Right, maybe here. reload. Okay, so who wants to do what? Yeah, reload. I think we're basically ready for the mission tonight, but we have no mission pool. That's correct. We have one mission pool, don't you? Uh nope, you have zero mission pool. I thought I had a mission pool that I brought over. Nope. Uh, I try right, to make Tatiana's going to write two reports and bump herself up to three harm. Okay. And then dark bargain herself. That's dangerous. Oh, well, yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, well, maybe I won't. This I, is I feel like this... I got to Val Kilmer this. Yeah. Tatiana, you're just too dangerous. <laughs> no, no, she's not going to, she's not going to dark bargain it. She's going to take the harm. Um, after oh, you that should whole dark instant. bargain it. You get in a plane with three hit point damage, and you you take one point of damage. You die instantly. Yep, so. I know. Okay, wow, you're really hard moding tonight. And, well, we'll see. Like this is this is effectively the last game, so we'll see if this uh, plays out. So you should be in the hospital, out. but you climb into your plane instead. <laughs> okay. So one, two. So two mission pool and write two reports, changing the accepted truth of the situation. Um, the first thing I'm going to change is that uh, uh, Ileana managed to extract critical intelligence from uh, ger German partisans and skillfully uh, ensured potential mission success. The second one is that she's going to change the accepted truth of the situation again. Uh, and suggest that, uh, hmm. You got that Sonya thing to do. Yeah, to do I that. do. And I'm going to handle it differently now. As you're writing your reports, uh, Eliana is going to wander over and say, uh, <coughs> so, Tatiana, I feel, why did I, why am I feeling all funny around those guys? <laughs> no, let's, 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 let's explain to me the birds and the bees. I don't understand. So Arthur, I'd, I'd like to say what I'm gonna, because we don't have a lot of time left in tonight's game. I want to say what I want to do, um, and then you yeah, tell me if ahead. it's possible. I'd like to mail this letter that I've got um, before the mission goes off. Yep. Um, I would like to mail it to Sonia, but I'm assuming that we have some kind of mail system with like addresses on it. Yep. And I want to like readdress it. To, um, that sounds uh, like Vladia. scrounge. What's that? That sounds like scrounge. Really, writing the wrong address in an envelope. So who you you want the mailing address it's coming from to be changed, right? No. no, no, no. Well, oh, I'm mailing it's... it effectively from um, Colonel Galunov. Right. So As you if... want the mailing address to be changed? Well, I assume like uh, and. America, you just write whatever return address you want, and you drop it in the mail. It only matters the two address, right? Um, yeah, but in the military, they tend to write like routed through, routed through, routed through for all their communications. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. Like it'll say it was routed through the following post to get here. Mm, no, but I was never in the military, so okay. Um, I mean, as effectively, I'd like to make sure that this letter hands up. Ends up in in um, in Vladia's hands somehow. How about um, tempting fate? Yeah, I was gonna say maybe tempt fate to see if I would so, like know a faked letter. Like you could probably just go stick it in my fucking bunk. Yeah. Hey, why uh, are you sending it to someone other than Sonia? I don't understand that. Why for extra drama? Yeah. No, I'm curious to see what uh, Vladia will do with this. My intent was to rail a little bit about uh, your current... So, hey, not only is it, like, incorrectly addressed, it's also the wrong letter. No, well, it's the fake letter. So. Yeah, it's a, it's, so it's a letter that he was supposed to... If we're going by logic here, it's a letter that he was supposed to send to his male lover. Yes. But he accidentally sent it to you. Sonia, but it wasn't Sonia whose name was on the envelope. It was... No, 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 no. Uh, this is getting overly complicated, but I, effectively I want a letter that's 
addressed to you on the outside. Inside, it's a letter to Boris, but it gets into Vladia's hands. Yep. By using a, a trick of the mail system such that it looks like it was incorrectly addressed letter. Right, okay. Yeah, all I right. feel like you're going to have to tempt fate to get yeah. all that incorrectly addressed stuff out of there. I'm going to have to dark bargain something um, in order to do this because I'm at three harm. Excellent. So I will dark bargain <laughs> something. And can I choose the consequence at the end of the mission? Or because one of these you might. You have not. to choose the mark now. Well, you know what? I'll let you hold the mark because you okay. want to. I suspect you want. You're definitely taking the mark, right? Yes, yes. But you want to have the mark be relevant to something that happens on the mission, which is fine. Potentially, yeah. Unless you die, in which case you'll have and to take the mark immediately about... and narrate yeah. the story. Yeah. Okay. So, so I do this and I use my other ghosts to 10 on the table. Ensure it works. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Moreover, this is only going to arrive after. Don't you love these ghost things? So, Sasha, I literally handled I do. My Remember, that was the move I wanted to take so yeah. I could cycle it. But even without the cycling, it's still great. Anyway, so yeah. I literally hand my letter to Sasha's ghost and say, go deliver this. And she goes and... to the play. It's actually playing. more like Sasha's ghost possesses you and gets you to write exactly what's needed yeah. and put it in the right place to make sure the mail carrier grabs it and redirects it. You're a sneaky bitch, you know that. <laughs> you know, they say that she's a very kinky girl. The kind you don't take home to mother. She's a super free. Super free. I don't know where you're going. Really? Really? Are you serious, bro? Yeah. How about we fly some planes, bro? Yeah, let's yep. talk about plane flying. Okay. So, we, uh, we have decided that Sonya will be... Lead pilot until 11. Oh my pilot gosh, that link is so 11. terrible. Um, we are going to put Katya. What as... are you linking us to? What horrible oh, right, thing? Okay. <laughs> Katya will be backup navigator in 11. <laughs> Sorry, um, who was Sonia? Was navigator in the front? Navig or not? She's pilot in 11. Okay, mm. pilot in 11. All yeah. right. Katya, since she's been working with Katya to na navigate, I'm giving her the opportunity. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that Katya will be shouting, <laughs> this is what I'm doing words. at this particular moment in time to help her out with her sure. training. Um, we're going to have... Uh, let's see. Also, I'm flying late with, the, with Katyana. So, Ileana, what is your guts at, Ileana? Uh, minus one. Minus one. But, uh, but who I else have... can bomb? I can bomb though. I have a plus three to bomb. Yeah, he is. Um, he is. He is lucky. Oh, that's right. That's right. You have that luck thing that lets you. Okay, mm -hmm. so you'll be piloting eleven. However, Ileana will be lead. Wait, I'm piloting eleven. No, yes, you're... Sonya's piloting eleven. Oh, that's right. That's said. right. You switched up the the yeah. So, so one forty seven or one eighty seven. 